Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent here with the Technology Concierge. Today, I'm going to briefly go over what is called Windows Storage Spaces. Now, uh, this is for those people who might want to set up or configure what would effectively act as a software RAID. Um, if you're not familiar with that term, you don't really need to worry about it. Um, let me just give you the rundown why you might want to use a storage space um, and kind of what it can do. Most people will use storage spaces, in my experience, to protect their data or to create a level of resiliency in their system. Right? It's a built-in features in Windows, and it's a very convenient tool to have if you're on a desktop and you have data that you want to make sure stays backed up, um, and even to some extent if you want to increase your speed of certain hard drives or if you just want to organize all of your files um, into one single place. And I'll explain what I mean by that in just a moment. So let's assume that you've got, uh, now th this is not something that you would use on a laptop. Most laptops don't have more than one hard drive in them. Um, so you, if you're on a laptop, you don't really need to worry about this. The first thing we're going to do is going to right click down at our bottom left screen and go up over to disk management. Now, the reason we're going to disk management is when you install hard drives in a computer, you have to initialize the disks. Otherwise, Windows can't read them. So we're going to, it pops up automatically. So we're going to go ahead and initialize these disks. Now we have two disks here and we're going to create two new volumes. I'm just going to go right through this and finish. Okay, so it's created that volume. Now we've got a new drive um, and we're going to create one more. And, and, and just so you know, to access this, you right click, new simple volume, and then basically follow the prompts right through. It's very simple. So now we're going to go to this PC. Now you can see that I've got mass storage over here. This is actually a storage space. I created one in a previous video to make sure that I could do this or in a, a previous attempt to make sure that this would work properly. Uh, these two right here are two hard drives. When I said that you might want to have all your files in one place, we're going to take both of these drives and turn them into one drive that is larger than the two combined um, for the sake of this tutorial. So. If I want to set up storage space, I'm going to go down here and type in my search bar, manage. And then the minute I do that, storage spaces comes up. If it doesn't, then just type manage storage spaces. And we're going to click that and open that. So you see I've got one pool already. So up here at the right-hand side, if you don't have any, it's going to be in the middle of the page. But up here at the right-hand side, you're going to click, uh, click create a new pool and storage space. So we're going to select yes. And then we've got these two disks here. We're going to check mark both of them. You have to have more than one disk in order to set this up. You can't do it on one disk. And we're going to hit create pool. And that's preparing our drives and it's created our pool. And we're going to call this tutorial drive. And the drive letter we're going to mount it to is our F drive. So instead of two drives, we're going to have one drive. Now, if we look down here, you see something called resiliency. Now, what is resiliency? Resiliency is basically redundancy. Uh, it means that uh, when you when you uh, write something to the disk, it's going to make a copy of it, and that data is going to be protected. So you'll have uh, two copies of everything you write to your disk, which is part of why a lot of people use this. Uh, Two-way mirror and three-way mirror would be respectively similar to your RAID 1, and then your parity mode is going to be very similar to RAID 5 and how they work. You don't need to worry too much about what those um, things mean. Just note that this is for resiliency. I'm trying to make this simple. Now, if you select a simple volume and no resiliency, uh, this would be more along the lines of storing everything in a single drive and having a large pool of data um, writing to different drives at once. That can, and in many cases does, very significantly increase the speed of the drives. Um, but it also depends on what you're doing, and it depends on the hardware that you have access to. I personally use simple and no resiliency. And for purposes of this, we're going to use simple or no resiliency. Um, or actually, you know what? We're just going to do a two-way mirror. I'm going to make this a two-way mirror so that you guys can actually see you know, what it does. And when I create this storage space, that's going to go ahead and format it. You'll notice that the two-way mirror, even though there's 100 gigs of total data, right? 
the two-way mirror is only going to show up as an available of 48 gigs. And the reason for that is because, excuse me, is because we're copying data in between both drives. So now we have our tutorial drive here. And if you look, we no longer have a cluster of drives. We just have one drive uh, that we created with that space. And this is in two-way resiliency. So this means that everything that I copy, so new folder, uh, random stuff, right? Anything that I put in here, anything that I save in here uh, is automatically going to be copied um, onto that other drive as a backup. And that is the purpose of Windows Storage Spaces um, and or RAID. And this is a very convenient way of configuring a software-based RAID inside of Windows 10. You don't need all kinds of drivers or uh, hardware controllers, and it makes things very, very simple uh, to do. All right, folks, that's the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And Technology Concierge out.